guys, my name is Chantal Super. Um, I'm 24 years old and this is my first YouTube video. I'm going to be talking about my journey and my experiences of being pregnant for the first time. So first trimester, horrible. For me it was horrible, it was not a nice experience. I found out I was pregnant because I was smelling, like my smell had heightened so much, like going past people going out in public, like Ooh, like it was making me feel sick and I'd be like what's that smell and be like what smell I'm like oh I used to go to shisha a lot the smell of grape I'd just be sitting in there like no I don't even want any it just stinks and I had a feeling then like could I be pregnant or am I just ill I found out I was pregnant at six to seven weeks I went out for lunch with my friends one day and I was drinking Pepsi or was it Coke, can't remember, but it tasted horrible. And the smells around me of like people and the food I could smell from the kitchen just stunk. I was like, I really don't feel well. Um, this went on for about a week and I was like to my friends, like, I think I might be pregnant. Um, they're like, no. So I went home, I got a pregnancy test. So I took my pregnancy test, waited five minutes, looked at it, like, got the packet, looked at the packet, I was like, oh my God, I'm pregnant. Just sat there, like, wow, but in shock. Got off the toilet, FaceTime my friends, told them, was all like, <laughs> then that night I went to my boyfriend's house and told Hello. him. My journey, the first, Three to four months, I was so sick. I was in bed. The smell of food, I couldn't. It was so bad. I had two windows in my room, so I had both windows open. I was laying in bed all day. Couldn't move. Every time mum started cooking, I shut the door. I put a towel by the door, like just underneath. I could not smell. Oh my God, the smell of mints or onions. I'd have to run to the toilet. It was disgusting like there was nothing worse my boyfriend sent flowers to my house i had them in my room oh i couldn't i had to put them downstairs the smell was disgusting Ooh, um just the thought of it makes you feel sick now i'm 34 weeks now well i'll be 35 weeks tomorrow but yeah the first trimester for me was awful like i couldn't meet any of my friends the lockdown happened so just as i started getting better again couldn't go out because of lockdown so my whole experience of going to classes and everything got cancelled my sickness got a little bit better in the second trimester i wasn't sick as much i could go out i was getting a bit more energy i wouldn't really I'd go out for little walks, but because the lockdown was so strict then, I didn't really want to risk it. But I'd go for a, a drive, like mum would go to get shopping, so I'll go for a drive and sit in the car while she did that. I can eat now. I'm having a little girl. I haven't really had any cravings apart from wanting more sweet things. So I thought I was having a girl. Oh, well, all my friends were like, you're having a girl. So I'm... I think I only had one that was saying, oh, you're having a boy. I ate a whole tub of ice cream and I'm not really that type of person. Um, and I was like, oh, maybe I am having a girl. Because apparently girls, like, when you're having a girl, you like sweet things. Shopping hasn't been that fun because I've just had to order. Because I like, I would have preferred to have gone to the shops and filled the clothes and everything and make sure they're soft because sometimes online they look lovely and then you get them and they're awful but that's how i went about that i spent hours on youtube looking like oh my god what's the best nappies what's the best bottles i'm gonna breastfeed but i'm still gonna need bottles because i'm trying to do both so hopefully that goes well in the middle of all that i've now got my own house um moving out finding the house in lockdown has been horrible but i'm happy that's done 
I'll show you my bum. So I'm 35 weeks tomorrow. Sorry, I'm in my pyjamas still. That's what my feet have been so swollen. Um, I point like I'm walking and I can feel the swelling on top of the feet. That hasn't been too nice. I raised them, as people keep saying to me, put them in a bucket of water, but hasn't really changed much. So when I see my midwife again, I'll ask about the swelling because it takes a while for it to go down. It's probably because I've been decorating, trying to get all her stuff ready. I've ordered a dresser. They said, oh, you probably get down the road and it'll be here, but now it's gonna be, might be here in August, which she's due in August. So that's really annoying. Back pain. I get a bit of back pain. One time I got, um, feels like I got trapped nerve in the top of my neck and I was driving and it suddenly went and I was like trying to turn my head and I had to like literally like turn my whole body because I couldn't turn my head and for some reason I think laying on the floor is going to help me but being this pregnant I'm laying on the floor then my bottom of my back's going oh my like how I'm going to get up like trying to get up I'm literally getting up like a tortoise on its shell but oh well. it does it's so nice feeling her kick though that's lovely like keeping you safe staying indoors <sighs> can't wait to meet her but at the same time i'd love to just go out go shopping properly go to these classes i really want to go swimming but that's not all open. As for a baby shower, she's not had one yet. Might have one in a few weeks, but I don't know. Depends how this lockdown goes. So yeah, thank you for watching. I hope it was helpful. This is really just my journey. Um, nothing really actually helped with the morning sickness apart from wristbands, sickness travel wristbands. They helped, but that was it uh second trimester yeah it wasn't too bad third trimester just back pains and swelling really but yeah if you've got any suggestions on back pain and what helps relieve it and the swelling because putting your feet in water and raising them yeah it helps a little bit but not that much it takes a while just maybe it's just time time heals everything i guess but yeah thank you for watching